guys, EJ here, back with another video, and today it's going to be my Blu-ray DVD collection for uh, 2020 and uh, martial arts. So starting off, up first we have uh, the Five Deadly Venoms uh, from 1978, part of the uh, Dragon Dynasty uh, collection, Shaw Brothers classic collection. Yeah, great film by uh, Chang Che. Up next, another one of these uh, Dragon Dynasty uh, films, uh, the, the 36 Chamber of Shaolin, also from 1978. Fantastic film. Absolutely love this one, my favorites in this genre. Up next, we have uh, Best of the Best uh, from 1989 with uh, Eric Roberts, uh, James Earl Jones, Christopher Penn, uh, Sally Kirkland. Not a great film, but uh, one I remember from the late 80s very fondly. Up next we have uh, Birth of the Dragon uh, from 2017. Not a great film, but I enjoyed the setup of uh, Bruce Lee and uh, his fight against uh, Wong Jackman in this film. And the fight's really cool, so I like this movie. Up next we have uh, Bloodsport from 1987. One of my all-time favorite Jean-Claude Van Damme films. Absolutely love this movie. Uh, Donald Gibb is great in it. Uh, Bolo Young as uh, Chong Li, uh, fantastic fights, uh, yeah, blood sports, just awesome. Up next, we have my uh, Bruce Lee uh, collection. Uh, features uh, The Big Boss from uh, 1971, uh, Fist of Fury from 1972, uh, Way of the Dragon uh, from 1973, Game of Death uh, from 1978, and Game of Death 2. From 1981, uh, uh, I'd say Game of Death and The Big Boss are probably my two favorites in this group. Get that back in. Ugh. <laughs> Eventually. Jesus. Alright, up next we have uh, Bulletproof Monk uh, from 2003. Yeah, with uh, Chow Young Fat and Sean William Scott, uh, Jamie King. Uh, special edition, not great, but I enjoyed it. Sean William Scott and uh, Chow Young Fat were pretty fun together. Up next, we have uh, Ang Lee's Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon from 2000. Probably my all-time favorite martial arts film. Just a beautiful movie. Great action scenes. Uh, beautiful cinematography. Just awesome uh, fight choreography. Uh, Chow Young Fat and Michelle Yeoh. Uh, Zhang Zi, fantastic film. Uh, absolutely love Crouching Tiger. Alright, up next we have DOA, uh, Dead or Alive from um, 2006. Yeah, all female uh, cast for the most part, uh, taking on, I believe Eric Roberts uh, was the bad guy in this. Cool film, good looking women, kicking ass, I enjoyed it. Up next we have Double Impact from uh, 1991. Jean-Claude Van Damme classic, double the uh, Van Damme, uh, double the Van Damage, as I like to say. Yeah, cool film. Not one of his best, but I still enjoy the heck out of it. Up next, we have uh, Drunken Master, uh, early Jackie Chan classic from uh, 1978. Fantastic film, one of uh, my favorite Jackie Chan movies. And I also got um, the... Uh, Legend of Drunken Master from uh, 1994, again with Jackie Chan. Up next we have Enter the Dragon, uh, two disc special edition. Um, yeah, probably my all time favorite Bruce Lee film uh, from 1973. Just a fantastic film. Uh, great fight scenes. Just a fantastic movie. John Saxon, uh, who recently passed away. Um, also terrific. Uh, just a great film. Uh, one of the all-time best martial arts movies, Enter the Dragon. Alright guys, moving on. Up next we have uh, Jet Li's uh, Fearless uh, from uh, 2006. Uh, unrated edition, yeah, really good. Jet Li, just fantastic. Up next we have uh, Jackie Chan's uh, First Strike uh, from 1996. Yeah, fun movie. Um, sort of that period right when Jackie Chan became really big. Uh, in the mid to late 90s, especially to American audiences. Up next we have uh, The Flying Guillotine from uh, 1975. Uh, another one of these great Dragon Dynasty uh, collectors. Um, collections, Shaw Brothers collection. 
Up next on uh, 3D Blu-ray, we have uh, Flying Swords of uh, Dragon Gate uh, from 2012. Yeah, Jet Li. Uh, good film. Liked it a lot. Really uh, great cinematography. Up next, we have uh, The Forbidden Kingdom um, from uh, 2008 with uh, Jackie Chan and Jet Li. Yeah, fun movie. I like this, uh, like this film quite a bit. Up next, we have uh, Golden Swallow from uh, 1968, uh, another great uh, film by Chang Che, part of the uh, Dragon Dynasty collection again. Up next, we have uh, Hero uh, from 2002, yeah, directed by Zhang Yimou, fantastic film, uh, great music, I love the music from this movie, uh, Jet Li, um, Tony Leung, uh, Maggie Chung, Zhang Zi, big fan of her. Uh, Donnie Yen, just a fantastic film. Up next, we have uh, House of Flying Daggers, also from uh, Zhang Yimou. Another fantastic, beautiful movie. Great uh, fight scenes. Uh, Zhang Zi, again, fantastic. Uh, Takeshi Kaneshiro and uh, Andy Lau, fantastic film from 2004. Up next, we have Iron Monkey uh, from 1993. Yeah, great fun movie um, by uh, Chen uh, Yuo Ping. Up next, we have uh, the original uh, The Karate Kid from uh, 1984, uh, special edition, Ralph Macchio and uh, Pat Morita. Just fantastic. Love this film uh, since I was a kid. I should get the uh, sequels because um, I've enjoyed some aspects of the sequels. Um, but I do have the remake, unfortunately for some people, uh, the 2010 remake with uh, Jane Smith. Uh, but I really like Jackie Chan's performance in this movie as the uh, Pat Morita uh, character. Um, so I will say it has that going for it. And it sort of has the spirit of the original as well. So it's, it, I don't hate Jaden Smith enough to uh, not like that movie. Up next we have Kickboxer from uh, 1989. Man, Van Damme looks totally ripped in this, <laughs> on this DVD cover. Uh, yeah, fantastic movie. Again, one of my favorite uh, Jean-Claude films. Uh, next to Bloodsport, this is probably uh, definitely one of my favorites. Up next, we have uh, Killer Clans uh, from uh, 1975. Another great uh, film in the uh, Shaw Brothers uh, Dragon Dynasty collection. Up next, we have uh, King Boxer, Five Fingers of Death uh, from 1972. Again, another great film in this uh, Shaw Brothers classic collection, Dragon Dynasty. Up next, oh, just dropped one. Um, hope it's one I already did. Uh, Kiss of the Dragon from uh, 2001 with uh, Jet Li and Bridget Fonda. Um, yeah, not great from what I remember, but still pretty decent. Ugh. Pick that one up, put that back in. They're a little tight here, that's why they're falling out. Uh, up next, we have uh, Kung Fu Hustle uh, from 2005. Uh, yeah, by Stephen Chow. Axe Kicking Edition. Fun movie. Um, I should really get Shaolin Soccer as well. Um, he did that one as well. But I didn't like Shaolin Soccer as much as I liked uh, Kung Fu Hustle. Up next, we have. Uh, uh, the Legend, or uh, The Legend of Fong Sayuk, uh, starring Jet Li, special collector's edition, fantastic movie uh, from 1993. Um, yeah, one of Jet Li's best, uh, that's for sure. Up next, we have uh, The Legend of the Shadowless Sword uh, from 2005. I believe this is a Korean film. Uh, either way, it's absolutely fantastic. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. Uh, I remember when I saw this, I was kind of blown away by, by the action and the storyline. It's just a beautiful film from start to finish. Up next, we have uh, Lionheart uh, from 1990, another Jean-Claude Van Damme classic. Um, not my favorite Van Damme film, but still pretty decent. Up next, we have uh, The Magic Blade uh, from the Eastern Masters Shaw Brothers collection. So a little bit different from the uh, Dragon Dynasty um, collection, but still a great film as well. Fantastic fight scenes in that film. Up next, we have uh, Mortal Kombat from 1995. 
um, yeah, uh, Christopher Lambert, um, whole host of, uh, decent actors, but not a great film, of course, if you grew up playing the video game at, like, your various 7-Elevens, you're very familiar with Mortal Kombat. Um, I was always a bigger Street Fighter fan than I was Mortal Kombat. Um, I also have seen the, the sequel, Mortal Kombat Annihilation, um, I'm not sure if I should get that, though. Because that movie is pretty bad. Uh, up next we have uh, Ninja Assassin from uh, 2009, I believe. Yeah, good little film from what I remember. Uh, only saw it the one time, but still very enjoyable. Alright guys, moving on. Up next we have uh, Once Upon a Time in China from uh, 1993. Uh, another fantastic uh, Jet Li film. Up next, we have uh, The One-Armed uh, Swordsman from 1967, another fantastic movie by uh, Chang Che. Um, yeah, again, part of this uh, Dragon Dynasty collection. Got a bunch of these. Up next, we have uh, Police Story uh, from uh, 1985, uh, special collector's edition. Uh, yeah, Jackie Chan classic. Um, more of an action slash uh, cop movie in the uh, martial arts genre, but still terrific. Uh, I want to get this uh, on the uh, Criterion Collection as well. Um, and I also want to get that Bruce Lee collection that just came out on Criterion. I tried to get it during the uh, the recent sale, but they were sold out online. Uh, yeah, and like I said, um, that, that Police Story collection comes with this one as well. Uh, Police Story 2 uh, from 1988. Uh, again, Dragon Dynasty Special Collector's Edition. Up next, we have uh, The Quest uh, from 1996. Sorry about the glare and the lights. Um, yeah, directed by uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme, who of course stars in the film, along with the uh, great uh, Roger Moore. I remember going to see this in the theater when it came out. One of my best friends in high school, uh, he was a big Van Damme fan, so we went to see uh, his movies when they came out. Uh, back in the mid 90s this was like one of the last films he had that came out in theaters um, but I really enjoy it I love the whole sort of uh, different uh, um, ideas of uh, guys from countries fighting each other and, and each fighter represents uh, the country and, and their style of fighting um, I got a kick out of uh, the quest alright up next we have uh, The Raid Redemption uh, from uh, 2012, uh, directed by uh, Gareth Evans, I believe. Uh, yeah, fantastic film, bone crunching action, uh, coming to you from Indonesia. Up next, we have uh, Rumble in the Bronx from uh, 1996. Yeah, this was the first movie that really introduced me to Jackie Chan. Like I said, in the mid to late 90s, this is when Jackie Chan was huge, and uh, this was really one of the main reasons why. Up next we have Showdown in Little Tokyo, I love the title, sort of a take on Big Trouble in Little China from uh, 1991, Dolph Lundgren and Brandon Lee, not as good as uh, Big, uh, Big Trouble in Little China but still a fantastic film, <coughs> directed by Mark Lester. Up next we have Street Fighter um, Extreme Edition from 1994. Yeah, like I said, I was a big fan of the video game. Uh, the movie, not so much, but still Jean-Claude Van Damme uh, as uh, Guile and uh, Raul Julia as M. Bison. Um, still cool seeing all those characters come to life on the big screen. Up uh, next we have uh, Super Cop uh, from 1992, fantastic uh, Jackie Chan film. Uh, with uh, Michelle Yeoh, uh, two disc Ultimate Edition. I didn't really see this until like '98. Yeah, like after the success of uh, Rumble in the Bronx, I saw this afterwards. Up next, we have uh, Tai Chi Master from uh, 1993 Special Collector's Edition. Uh, fantastic again, Michelle Yeoh and Jet Li. Great movie that one. And last but not least, we have uh, Unleashed, uh, Unrated. Um, yeah, Jet Li and Morgan Freeman, Bob Hoskins, fantastic. Uh, Kerry Condon, um, directed by uh, Louis Leteria from 2005, fantastic movie. Jet Li is fan absolutely brilliant in this one. So uh, that is uh, martial arts. Up next will be uh, military. Um, 
So thank you for watching as always, and until next time, I'll see you. Bye.